Good evening. People living in Skewen flooded out of their homes after a mine blowout say it's disgusting the coal authority is refusing to accept liability for the damage caused to their homes. 80 residents from the village outside Neath were evacuated last month. Some could be out of their homes for nine months. Others may not be able to return at all. And many claim they'll have to foot much of the repair bill themselves. Rhys Williams reports. It's a site Skewin residents are unlikely to forget anytime soon. Today, much calmer, but the remnants of the devastation are clear to see. Water is still flowing freely from the scene of the blowout on a residential driveway. And residents are concerned their homes could flood again just after they've been cleaned due to blocked drains caused by silt. Oh my God! Oh my word. This was the Birch family home the day after the flood. Wayne is furious the coal authority will not accept liability for the damage. I think I speak to everyone on the street and everyone that, that was flooded in skewing that we find it absolutely disgusting. And someone's at fault and someone needs to put the hand up and say, we're at fault. There's a lot of uninsured people there. I'm lucky I'm insured. There's a lot of uninsured people there that their lives have just been ruined because of this. Even people who do have insurance are set to miss out, as many private policies don't actually cover everything outside of the house itself. If you take this garden as an example on Deneva Road in Skewin, the wall here has been damaged, the decking is damaged, this driveway here has obviously been ruined, as has the lawn over there. And then there's the garden equipment, children's toys, vegetable patch. It all adds up, but it's not all covered under everyone's policies. Now, the Coal Authority have said they are offering to pay £500 and some labour to help reinstate ruined gardens. But a lot of people are saying it's just not enough. The children ask to come outside to play and they can't. You know, on a nice day like today, they, there's nowhere they can go that's safe. With only one room damaged inside, the Wilcox family could be described as lucky, but that's not how it feels. This was what their garden used to look like. We're hoping that we're not going to have to go down the legal avenue. Uh, nobody wants to pursue legal um, advice and things, but we are looking at it perhaps, but hopefully the moral route. We're not asking for much, we're just asking for what we've lost. There are fears the coal authority believe paying for uninsured losses in skewing would set a precedent. But according to the area's MP, it's the right thing to do. We've got to make the moral case, the common sense case. We are making that case to ministers on a daily basis, saying that, you know, we've got to ensure that you do the right thing morally. Uh, don't use legalistic arguments here. This is a question of doing the right thing. The Coal Authority's chief executive, Lisa Penny, said that while they are not liable for damage due to flooding, they are doing all they can to support residents. It's scant consolation for the people of Skewin, however, who feel badly let down. They intend to fight this decision all the way.